channel today we are doing another seafood mukbang and yes i know it's been a minute but you know what here it is i'm gonna try to get these to you at least like once or twice a month but we gonna see because it's crap <laughs> it's expensive but we're gonna make it work but okay let's um i got my butters and stuff here and i'm nervous because last time i did this it deleted and i was mad but we gon' we gonna make sure we gonna make sure it stay this time. But I got crab, of course, of course crab. Um, got potatoes. I have corn. Stay here somewhere. Stay here. Um, shrimp is down there. And then because we're healthy, we have broccoli. Holy lit. So, Mom, can you um pass me the fork over there? The plastic one. You so blessed. Thank you so much. Give it up for my mom's hands, everybody. Woo. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's get this crab. It's looking delicious. Start with this. One. I don't even know what cluster this came from. Oh, you know, more butter. Again, I get it from from VIP Seafood. Which is in Georgia is in it's on Target a lot. It's really good. Mm. Mm. I sure you guys check out um what did I post? I have another uh, Wendy's McBang up there. Um, then I have I have a story time up there. Make sure y'all check that out. Mm. And um, what else? And I have a mochi, a me trying mochi for the first time video, which is actually pretty good because I was um. I was, um, I was trying it because I had seen a lot of ASMR videos that, um, got my, got my hair on, that had mochi in it. I was like, well, I need to try it. Cause they was smacking on it like it was delicious, like it was just, it was just top notch. So I went to Target. I was, I was trying to figure out if I could get online. I don't know, I got a lot of stuff online. And they ship it to your house, or they deliver it um, in a couple of hours. But they didn't have mochi on any site. Amazon, Prime Now, nothing. So, I was looking, and I was hoping a store had it near me. So I ended up having to go to Target, which was about 10 minutes from my house. And they had it. And it was good, it was tasty. And I was getting mad because when I was looking, I looked in the ice cream section and um, they um, didn't have it. I'm like, well, I didn't see it. I was like, it said, so I went online. I was like, it says in store only. And it says it's here. Say, pick it up today. So I was like, something gotta give. It's here somewhere. So I went back and looked. And I never I've never shopped for groceries at Target. So I don't really know how like their, their panels and stuff is set up. But um they had 
they had like the shelves layered and the mochi was at the bottom. I'm like, what? I'm like, that's not a lot of shit. Because it's at the bottom. Maybe if y'all put it at the top, people will be able to see it. Oh. Um, I know next time if I want some more. I'm trying to um get a um wait how long oh come out oh crap I'm trying to get a um best friends tag video down and I gotta get a video done with my midget. Because I was supposed to do a story time with her, but our schedules haven't been matching. And that's a big thing. Because we try to do videos with other people. You got to make sure schedules match. Because it's going to take a minute. You might have to do more than one tape. You know? But... We can't disrespect nobody's time either. So, you just have to make it work with what you got. Oh, I'll look at him. But, I don't think I've ever told y'all the story of End of the Rainbow. <laughs> yeah. That's an um, interesting story. Because... And the rainbow, which is on YouTube, I'm gonna try to link it in. Um, I'm trying to link it in. Oh, in the thing. But in the rainbow was one of my was my senior project for theater because I went to fine arts school, so we had to um write and produce and direct our own play or whatever play musical whatever you want to do you know it was yours so I I originally went in thinking because the <clears throat> the seniors in the class before us did the videos by, but not the videos did the um the projects by themselves. So I was like, all right, well, that's cool. I was thinking of stuff all summer to do. That's pretty good. I was thinking of stuff all summer to do. And I wanted to come up with this crazy idea of like life after death. Um, like, The, the lives of of, of of like parents or something after after their their child dies or something like that. So that was the original idea I had. And then I learned we had to be in groups, you know. So I was like, all right, well, whatever. So they put me in a group with. One of the people I knew from oh, one of the people I knew from middle school and another girl that um or was a senior and stuff. About me. So I'm going to group and they said don't talk over the summer. So it didn't. But I'm thinking maybe that was a suggestion because all the other um, groups and stuff talked over the summer and had like full ideas ready. And um, I was like, well, we behind. We gotta figure something out. So 
Um. Um. <clears throat> one of the uh, one of the girls. She was like, "Okay, well, let's do something with gay rights or whatever." And I was like, "All right." Another girl agreed. So it was basically a two, two to one vote. Cause I presented my idea. Well, that's what they want to do. So I'm like, all right, uh, I'm like, all right, whatever, let's do it. So we start getting into the writing process. And <laughs> people who know the story know how I was during that writing process because it was frustrating. Um, yeah, it was very frustrating. And I'm not trying to be shady or anything, but um, most of the writing did come from me. And that's okay because we knew going in, you know, what people's strength and stuff was. I already knew one of the girls wanted to just do costuming. And the other one, she really just wanted to do like tech and stuff. So I was like, all right, well, I'll handle, I'll handle the, the, um, you know, the writing and directing portion. Cause I've been doing that for years, you know? And, <clears throat> but you know, we still had to, at first it was like, that's how we really was going to separate it. But then my teacher said, no, nah, y'all need to work together on all the processes. So I was like, all right. Um, that's what I was intending on doing because that, that was a lot of work on top of everything else I had to do for my senior year. But mm, I did end up doing a lot of writing about 90% of it. Well, maybe even more than that, but um, also basically just the directing while being in the play, another play, another singing show that's play, and being in a musical. Like a lead in a musical. So, I'm trying to work that out as well as trying to direct a play that I wrote. So that was difficult. It was very difficult. Um, even when it came down to casting, I basically did that myself. Um, but I always checked in with them to make sure everything I did was okay. Yeah, I don't want them ever saying, well, he's excluding us because I wasn't. If you don't want to do it, then it's got to get down. You got to get down. So, flash forward to like the day, not the day, the week of the performance or whatever. It's tech week and we're trying to get stuff done. Mm. And I had a lot of theater classes. I had like four. So I was basically in theater like all day. And um, so I just, I did my lights early in the, um, early in the week before rehearsal or whatever. So that way, that part was done. Cause lighting takes a long time. It takes about, it took me about Three hours to get the lighting done. Cause you gotta sit in there, put the lights you want, make sure it's, everything is lit in that scene. Have somebody stand in that place, record your cues, save the show, because if you don't, then those cues that that you wrote won't save. And for every scene, you do a cue. And every scene, well. Every area you do it too. But every scene could have like 
have like um um they could have like um I don't know, let's say five, six kids or whatever. I've done shows where they've had a hundred and um hundred almost two hundred cues. And it that takes time. So uh, Oh, excuse me. So I did the kids. I mean, we heard him. And I'm especially delighted uh, explaining to the person that's going to be running. Like, well, no, this is what happened. I thought I would be running lights. So I was like, all right, cool, they're done. I don't have a problem with that. We can move on. Mm -mm, that's not how that happened. The guy, if you've seen it, y'all saw I was in it. I was not supposed to be in that. That was a decision made like two days before the show. Because um, the guy I had playing the role I played, Grace was messed up, had a lot of stuff going on at home. So it was like, I feel like it's best that, um, that, um, I don't do it. Oh, all right, cool. I'm not feeling stressed. Because somebody can't do it, I'll just find somebody to replace you, and I'll keep moving. Because there was plenty of people that wanted to be in my play, but I didn't have that many roles in my play. I had just enough, and I had enough for an alternate. <clears throat> so, I, um, I took a risk. We couldn't have understudies because of. That's another story. Not going to get in that. Anyway. Um, but. We. Um, I took a risk. And cast light. For a reason. Because I don't. I don't. I mean I don't mind a big cast. I don't want a big cast though. If I, if I can get away with it. Because it's easier. I can. Um, deal with the people I need to deal with. And keep moving. Because having a big cast can be very distracting. So, I had to cut him the week of the week of the show. And I'm not stressed because um, I don't need to be. I didn't need to be, but I'm just like okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to give because I need this person. Like this person was <laughs> a main character. I can't afford not having you in the show. I can't rewrite this show. I can't. So if I if I would have wrote around his character, I would have to rewrite the whole show. Different concept, different everything. Even I'm coming to a brand new show. If you see it, you'll understand why. But um. I, I was so we was in rehearsal one day, and since we still didn't have anybody casted for him yet, I just read for the role. And because I wrote it, I knew how I wanted it read. So I was like, I was like, oh, you should do it. You should do it. I was like, no, ma'am, no, sir. I can't. I have too much on my plate. I don't want to be in the show. I don't want to just walk. That's literally what I wanted to do. Was just watch. Um, but it didn't happen like that. It got to about the day before the show. And I still hadn't found nobody. So I was like, alright, I'll do the role. And um it was fine. I didn't know them words. I didn't know the lines, so I can tell you that. You know, I wrote it, but <laughs> I wrote it, but still, I didn't know the the lines because I was focused on the music I was doing. I wasn't expecting to be in my play, so what I did, being a professional that I am, I was like, well, since it's gonna be in school. Well, one of the scenes, well, two of the scenes was in school. I'll take the script with me. 
And that's why I did. <clears throat> I don't know if you saw that, but now you know. I took the script with me on stage. And um, I was reading it. I was reading it sometimes if I didn't know it, know it. But then other times I knew some of the lines because I, I read for that scene so much. And I usually learn pretty quick. But when I'm doing two two uh two things and the third one is added, it um it can become tiring. Even though I could have, but at the same time too, I was still in school and still doing um schoolwork. I had stuff to do. So I didn't have time to be sitting up there learning lines for some that I was not supposed to be in. So, that's why I moved that. And the, another reason I didn't want to be backstage was because I'm constantly thinking of, okay, how can we make this better? So, I literally changed like 30 things right before people went on stage. Which, you know, hey, it happens. That's why I don't like being backstage or something that I that I did because I'll start changing stuff. And I don't want to confuse my actors. But you know, hey, you think of stuff at the last minute that can be right. Oh, that was good. And you just, you start switching stuff and but I mean, my actors were great and I loved them because they were very professional. And uh, did we play around? Yes, we did. <laughs> the rehearsals was funny. We played around a lot. We played around a lot to a point where I was like, oh, crap. I think we're playing too much. But it came together and it pulled together. Now, I remember that day when the girls that was directing with me. Um, she brought, she bought McDonald's. And I wasn't stressing, but I was like, I need this to go perfect. I, I think I explained that. And, um, no, I did leave that story down. I directed one thing to go perfect. I mean, like, there's no if and about about it. It needs to be perfect. Cause it's just, that's how you imagine it. But I didn't eat. I don't think I ate that whole day because I was so, I was like, I got to get stuff done. I, I, it's so much to do. Oh, man, so much to do. So I get this stuff done. And get this, this, this show done. And my show was supposed to start at 5.45. But my teacher, she was trying to be funny. She didn't want me to go because she was like, You're gonna be not gonna be my baby anymore. I'm gonna be growing up. Yeah. So my show was delayed about 30 minutes. No. It was delayed about 15 minutes. 30, 15 minutes. Whatever. And then 15 minutes, I got real anxious. But what was crazy was the way the shows go. If I was in the showcase, was you um two two shows going one day. My show was originally supposed to go like the week before, no, the the, the week after, and I was supposed to be the last show, like the last show, completely. And I was like, okay, cool. So I thought I had my rehearsal time, but my rehearsal time actually got cut, and um. But my show got switched to a day by itself. So, and the show didn't start till 5 45, when usually shows started at 4 30. So that meant I had rehearsal time. So I took advantage of that. I ran my whole show. It's like, well, this is <laughs> this is what we gotta do. Let's do it. And um, so that was, I think that was great. But um, like I said, the the shows usually are like Two shows a day. 
So you have the parents of whoever directed the show, and then they bring all their family, and then theater majors and stuff are there. And uh, and um, usually the parents leave after their child show. But since my show was the only show, everybody came. I wish, ooh, I wish I would show the audience. Everybody came to my show. Literally bad to the point where, you know, and it's usually standing room um, only in those shows. Well, I mean, you have the seats, but if you don't get there early, then you don't get a seat. And plus, we reserve seats for our parents and stuff, so they don't have to be standing. But... Um, so that's, that's a couple of seats and the, it was in a black box. So it wasn't that, it wasn't like a big theater, but, um, the, with the reserved seats as well as the seats that were already there. And then I, it was about 60, 60 seats. I know because I put the chairs down. I put the chairs down every day for every show. It was about 60 seats in there. And all the seats were filled in about 15 minutes. And the back of that room, all you see was people and people was trying to see. That room was literally filled beyond capacity. And I was like, wow. I, I truly felt honored. Um, alumni had came back. Um, and I, I truly felt honored that my show was the most, you know, successful one. Um, well, in my book, the most successful uh, and the most like people, cause that 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 meant people care. You know, maybe people just didn't have nothing to do. It was on a Monday though. That's the crazy thing. It was on a Monday. So you know, people, you get people come out on a Monday. That's that's something good. So I felt I felt completely. Um, Completely honored that that's how my show went. So, um, that was great. And, yeah, uh, In the Rainbow is really, truly something special. Um, I've written things before that, um, that was done, but it had never been, like, actually put up. Oh. Uh -huh. I always um I always um usually just get written and stashed. Except in the rainbow uh, not in the rainbow. Except um Angels of Life, which that wasn't even a full script. That was like not even half of it. It was only like a third of the script that was recorded. That's so why I was just like, let me just name a short film. Um, I was like a third of the script. I think I have the original script on my computer or somewhere. And, um, that really didn't get published the way I wanted it to. So, I felt great because that was the first one. You know, People could put their eyes on. They were like watching it engaged. People was crying, laughing. I'm just glad that it went the way it did. Because we worked hard on that. Again, props up to my cast because they worked hard. They worked hard. And I put them through a lot. But they they went through the challenge. You know, because they could say no. My I catch them, could say no. Because some people did. Some people said no. And um, I was like, all right. And I had to find other people. I was like, uh, the people I cast that were originally, I was like, these are perfect. And um, they said no. 
but the cast I had was a dream cast. And then they regretted it. It was like, dang, I should have did your show. I was like, well, he was down there. Should have been up there. Maybe next round we'll go around. But it's all good. I do love the cat the hat. Well, stay tuned. We might see some more of that coming out soon. More angels of life. No. Yo, I have finished angels of life. I'm still mad that thing didn't get fully filmed the way I wanted to. But you know what? It's going to get filmed. Eventually. Yeah. But, um. In the rainbow. Angels of life. Both of those are going to get revamped because I got some ideas that I'm not going to share until you see them. You're going to like them, I promise. I look like a freaking two-year-old eating. I got no self-control over what I'm doing. But it's so good. Like, it's really good. Oh my God. I'll be sad when I'm done. I'm like, it's good. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. That's everything. I'm sad. That's everything. <clears> that was good. It was delicious. It's been a minute. But I'm glad I had it. But that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you, if you're new to this channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share my channel with your cousin, Pookie, your daddy, your mama, your mama's friends, cousin, boyfriends, best friends, sister in law, brother's daddy, and whoever you got to share it to. You know what I mean? Share it because we got to make sure that you all come back for this amazing content that's going to be on this channel. But make sure you stay tuned. New video coming soon. Collabs coming soon. I promise they're coming soon. And I'll check you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs>